In this video, we're going to focus on factoring difficult problems. So let's say if we have this expression. a squared plus 6ab plus 9b squared minus 49. Go ahead and take a minute and factor this particular problem. Feel free to pause the video. Now, it helps to know this formula. a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. What we have here is a perfect square trinomial. And here's how you can tell if you have a perfect square trinomial. Take the square root of the leading coefficient and the square root of the last one. So you get 1 and 3. If you multiply 1 and 3, you're going to get a number that's half of this number. Whenever you see that, that means it's a perfect square trinomial. And you can use this formula. So in this case, a is the same as lowercase a. And capital B is the square root of 9b squared, which is 3b. So to factor the first three uh, terms, it's going to be a plus 3b times a plus 3b, or simply a plus 3b squared. Now, if you feel unsure about this, you can FOIL the expression. Let's multiply a plus 3b times a plus 3b. So a times a is a squared and a times 3b is 3ab and 3b times a is also 3ab and finally 3b times 3b is 9b squared and as you can see 3a plus or 3ab plus 3ab that's 6ab so this is going to give us the original expression and we still have negative 49 on the right side. Now, how can we factor this particular expression? What can we do? So, to help you to see what to do here, how would you factor x squared minus 25? Using the difference of squares method, it's x plus 5 times x minus 5. Notice that we have a difference of squares situation as well. The square root of this expression is simply a plus 3b, and the square root of 49 is 7. So it's going to be plus 7 and minus 7. So this is the answer, which you can leave it as a plus 3b plus 7 and a plus 3b minus 7. You can write it like this as well. Now let's try another problem. Go ahead and try this one. 4a squared minus 20ab plus 25b squared minus 100. So take a minute, see if you can factor this particular example. Now let's consider the first three terms. Do we have a perfect square trinomial? Well, let's find out. What is the square root of 4 and the square root of 25? The square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 25 is 5. If you multiply 2 times 5, you're going to get 10. Notice that 10 is half of 20. That tells you that this is a perfect square trinomial. It comes from the equation a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b squared. So we need to realize that a squared is equal to 4 lowercase a squared, which means a is the square root of it, or 2a. Now b squared is equal to 25 lowercase b squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, 
b is going to be the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of b squared is b. So capital B is 5b. Now, if we plug it into this formula, it's going to be 2a minus 5b squared. So that's how you can factor this particular portion of the equation. Now, what if you don't have the equation? Is there another way in which we can get the same answer? Well, let's see. Let's multiply 4 and 25. 4 times 25 is 100. What two numbers multiply to 100 but add to the middle term negative 20? This is going to be negative 10 and negative 10. Negative 10 plus negative 10 is negative 20, but they multiply to 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to split negative 20ab into negative 10ab and another negative 10ab. And we still have the 100 on this side. Now we're going to factor by grouping. In the first two terms, let's take out the GCF, which is uh, 2a. Now, to find out what goes inside, divide 4a squared by 2a. That's going to give you 2a. And negative 10ab divided by 2a is positive 5b. I mean negative 5b, I take that back. Now, in the next two terms, let's take out the GCF. The greatest common factor is going to be negative 5b. If we divide negative 10a by negative 5b, negative 10 divided by negative 5 is 2. The b's will cancel, and you're just going to get a. So this is going to be 2a. And if we divide 25b squared by negative 5b, we're going to get negative 5b. So now we can take out another GCF, which is 2a minus 5b. So that's going to be 2a minus 5b. And then since we removed it from this term, we have a 2a left over. And in the next term, once we take out 2a minus 5b, we have negative 5b left over. So because we have two of them, we can write it like this. We can say it's simply 2a minus 5b squared minus 100. So notice that we can now use the difference of squares method at this point. So it's going to be 2a minus 5b plus the square root of 100, which is 10, and then times 2a minus 5b minus 10. So this is the final answer. That's how we can factor this particular expression. try this example. Let's say if we have uh, 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared minus 9r squared minus 24s, I mean rs, plus 16s squared. So go ahead and take a minute and factor this particular example. So the first two terms, I mean the first three terms actually, notice it's a perfect square trinomial. If we take the square root of 4, that's 2. The square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, which is half of 12. So therefore, we know that we can use the formula a plus b squared to factor it. So a squared is the first part. It's going to be 4x squared, which means a is equal to 2x. b squared is equal to 9y squared. Therefore, b is going to be 3y. So to factor it, it's going to be 2x plus 3y 
squared. Now what about the last three terms? Is that a perfect square trinomial? Well first, let's take out a negative one or a negative sign. It's going to be positive 9r squared plus 24rs. Well, I need to change this. I meant this to be negative instead of positive. So right now it should be positive 16s squared. Now this part we can rewrite it as 2x plus 3y squared. The square root of 9 is 3 and the square root of 16 is 4. And if we multiply 3 times 4, that's equal to 12, which is half of 24. So that's a, a perfect square trinomial. So a squared is equal to 9r squared. And b squared is 16s squared. So a is equal to 3r and b is equal to 4s. Now, what should we do at this point? What's our next step? Just like we did before, at this point, we can factor using the difference of squares method. So it's going to be 2x plus 3y plus 3r plus 4s and then times 2x plus 3y minus 3r plus 4s. So the last thing we can do is distribute the negative sign. So the final answer is 2x plus 3y plus 3r plus 4s and times 2x plus 3y minus 3r minus 4s. So this is the final answer.